Welcome back to the Aperture Assassin channel. I'm your host Liam Douglas and in this video I'm going to be doing a review of the Lens Baby Soul 45. Now Lens Baby has been making creative lenses for over 10 years now and their lenses are designed for taking unique photographs. So the Lens Baby Soul 45, which I recently purchased for the RF mount, so it fits my EOS R Canon uh, full frame mirrorless camera, is like I mentioned, a creative lens. So first up, this lens is 45 millimeters, and it's an f3.5 aperture throughout. Now, it is a completely mechanical lens. There are no electronics inside. It doesn't send any aperture information or uh, data into the EXIF uh, area of your photography files. But I really like these lenses, and they're extremely creative, and they can create some really unique looks. So on this lens, one of the functions that it has, and I'll hold it up here so hopefully you can see it better, is it has a twist lock and unlock. Now, what this does is it allows you to tilt the lens. As you can see there, it tilts just a little bit. You can tilt left or right. You can tilt up and down. Now, additionally, on the inside of the front of the lens, and hopefully you can see it, you see these unique bokeh blades, and these can be flipped in front of the lens and away from the lens. And what they do is they create unique bokeh effects to your images to make them more interesting, um, a little more creative, if you will. Now, there are some really cool images that you can get with the, with the Lens Baby lenses. As I said, they make a wide range of lenses, and I'll show you that when I get to the looking at the images that I took today with my Lens Baby Soul 45 on the desktop here in just a second. And I'll also pull up the Lens Baby website so you can check out all the different lenses that they make for yourself. Now, the good news is they make their lenses for pretty much all of the major camera mounts. They offer a Canon EF mount, Canon RF mount, Nikon F mount, Nikon Z mount. I believe they also do Sony and Fuji X mount, but we'll triple check that when we go to their website. So I'm going to actually... Um, review with you some of the images that I took today. I shot 22 images just around my property here in the Atlanta area. Um, I don't have anything super cool that I can show you um, as far as subjects uh, because we're in the winter time. Uh, there's no flowers in bloom or anything like that, which are generally the kind of things you love to shoot with the lens baby. Um, they're great for flower shots, macro photography. They're great for landscapes. And you can get some really cool portraits as well. And you'll be able to see some additional image samples on their website when we get to that part of this review. So right now, let's go ahead and head into my Mac desktop. And let's look at some of the uh, images that I captured today as well as look at some of the content and products that they have on LensBaby.com. Uh, Lightroom Classic, and these are the 22 images that I told you about that I captured with my LensBaby Soul 45 today. Um, this first one here is just a hummingbird feeder that we have hanging on our carport. And you can see how only parts of the image are in focus, and that's the whole idea with the LensBaby. You can control what area of the image is actually in focus, and then everything else can be out of focus. And you can get some interesting looks. So this is regular, and this is with the bokeh blades flipped in front of the lens. You can see how you get these really wicked looking wave effects in your bokeh, um, which are really pleasing. I think they look kind of cool. Uh, this next image is the picnic table in our front yard. Um, you can see that I had the blade still in front of the lens because you can see the like wavy line effect that you get. And this, of course, is without the bokeh blades. And you can see how the focus is very selective right here in the center. Um, and then it falls off on the sides as well as the top and bottom. Uh, shot a couple of shots of the Nissan logo on my new Nissan Rogue. Both with and without the bokeh blades. Uh, my neighbor's basketball hoop across the street. There again with the bokeh blades, and there with the bokeh blades and the shift. And you can see the difference. You can see how the image shifted just a little bit. That can be a lot of fun to play around with. Uh, the rear logo on my Nissan. And you can, you can see the shift being applied. You can see the difference in the two images before and after the shift. 
And here are just some shots of the street in front of my house with the Boca blades and the shift. Shift without the Boca blades. Shift again. And you can shift, like I showed you in the opening of this video, you can shift the lens up, you can shift it down, you can shift it left, and you can shift it right. And it just basically allows you to change the focus area of the image by using a shift. Um, so you can see it change here before and after the shift. See how in the first shot, even though it's out of focus, the writing on the bottom of this bottle is still, you can still tell somewhat that there's writing there. You just can't make it out. And then when I shift it, it's just about completely gone as is part of the lizard's tail. And then of course the text up here in the upper part of the lizard are in focus. Um, these are some more close-up shots. You can see where I have the focus down here. And then I shift it the other direction so the focus moves up here to the top of the bottle. And once again, now this is with the Boca blades in place. And this is a wider shot with uh, without the Boca blades. Um, but again, going with the shift closer and then farther away. And you can see how it totally blows out the text at the bottom of the bottle because I shifted the lens towards the top. Well, actually, this would have been to the right because I had my camera turned in portrait mode. So I was actually shifting um, the right side of the lens, which would be the top in this orientation. So as you can see here, you can get some really, really cool looks and effects with the lens baby. And it's one of the things I really love about their lenses. Um, I've got a couple of different lens babies. I have one of the original lens baby 2.0s for the EF mount. Actually, I have three right now because I do also have the Soul 45 in the EF mount. Um, but I'm trying to sell that now that all of my cameras are R mount and GFX mount. I could still use the EF lens baby with the EF to RF adapter, but what the what's the point when I've already got the RF model, um, which my wife Tina was nice enough to buy me for Christmas. So now let's go ahead and head over to the lens baby site. And so we're going to do that now. And as you can see here, when you go to their main page, they've got a lot of different things here. They got their shop where you can shop for standalone lenses their Omni filter system, they have optic swap system lenses, and then they also have accessories. Now, if we go to the standalone lenses, you'll see that they've got a very wide selection of lenses. They got the Velvet 28, a Velvet 85 portrait lens, a Velvet 56. They got the Spark 2.0. Uh, they got the Soul 22, the Soul 45, which is the one I'm reviewing in this video. Then they got the Twist 60, the Burnside 35, and the Trio 28. I think the Trio 28 is going to be the next one that I buy just because it looks like a kind of a cool lens. And then, of course, um, if you go to their, they have the Omni filter system that you can get for Lens Baby. Um, it's a, a specific, I believe it's a specific lens that you can get or a lens adapter. Uh, let me get back there. Gosh darn it. And, um, yeah, the Omni Creative Filter System. Gosh darn it. I don't know why it keeps, keeps going past that on me. There we go. Um, it's $79.96. And it's just basically something um, that you attach to the front of your existing lenses. So this allows you to use your existing lenses. As you can see, it screws into the filter thread. You have the option of a 49 to 58 millimeter or 62 to 82 millimeter. Um, and you can basically use this to put uh, these attachments in front of your existing lens to get various effects. Um, and they have a bunch of different ones as add-ons that you can get. I wish this little, there we go, a little pop-up. Um, and so these are some of the cool images. Now, these are actually all by Lens Baby users. As you can see, they have the photographer's copyright names on them. Lens Baby loves to have people that actually use their lenses submit photos to them for their galleries and to use on their website um, and marketing material. And as you can see, even with the Omni filter system, using it on one of your existing lenses, you can get some really cool effect. You can get this rainbow film effects wand. Um, 
And you, it, like I said, as you can see here, you can switch them out. You can add, adjust. Um, you just screw it on to attach it to the front of your existing lens. And they even have a bunch of YouTube videos here that you can watch um, with different people using their Omni lens filter system. And you can see the lens baby is all over the media. Uh, PC, uh, F-stoppers, shutter bug. Um, everywhere. I mean, it's just the photo, the faux blogger, a uh, flow blog riffer. I always pronounce that wrong. <laughs> That's a tongue twister of a name, but look at this beautiful image. Now, like I said, this is with the Omni filter system, but let's go back to the soul 45. So this is the lens that I'm reviewing today. This is the EF mount version, um, which I also have, like I said, um, and as you can see here, this is the, the version that I have for the RF mount. And as I mentioned in the opening segment, these are all of the mounts that they have available for the Soul 45. They got the Canon EF for DSLR, the RF for mirrorless, the Fuji X for mirrorless, the Nikon Z for mirrorless, the Nikon F for DSLR, the Sony E mirrorless, and even Pentax K. I didn't realize that they had Pentax K, so I apologize to the Pentax shooters. I hope you aren't too mad at me. <laughs> um, but as I mentioned in the opening, it's a 45 millimeter focal length, uh, aperture of f3.5 fixed, and it gives you the effects of controlling the sweet spot of your focus. And here's some sample images here, um, talking about the sweet spot, this lady that's putting on her makeup. Then you have the bokeh blades around the little boy with the, the bubbles and the creative companion. You can, like I said, you can use this lens for portraits, still life, street scenes, almost anything and everything. And you can get some really cool effects. You can see here in some of the sample images, wildlife shot, um, a shot of a bunny here, which looks really cool. Oops, let me get back there. Oh, okay, there we go. I hate that this top part keeps dropping down. Sorry about that. Um, but you can see some of the really cool images. Here's some uh, flowers. Um, a little boy with a jar, a pair of ballery, uh, ballet shoes, um, uh, a girl with a camera. It looks like she's in front of the U.S. Capitol, and somebody else captured her image using the Soul 45. This shot of a couple here, this landscape, and this really cool model uh, dressed as an angel. You can just get some really unique things. Now there are also for the lens 45, there's other videos here that you can check out for yourself directly from the lens baby website. Uh, this is a hands-on review by another photographer. Um, and you can see some other videos here as well. PC magazines, video, um, and other people that have done videos on the soul 45. But as it says here, tilt, focus, and shoot. Now look at this image. This is absolutely amazing. I love the colors in the skirt that she's wearing. And it's a beautiful sunset scene with beautiful sky. You've got orange in the sky, the blue and white clouds, a little bit of darkness going on, and all of that. Now that to me is just a really amazing image. And as you look here, if you go to the bottom of their page, the Lens Baby Soul 45 has a five-star review. 33 reviewers have given this lens a five-star rating. Nobody has rated it less than five stars. Everybody that has used this lens just really, really enjoys it. And it's a great way to open up your creativity as a photographer. Now, one of the other things I'm going to do is down in the description for this video, I'm going to include a link that will allow you to order this lens or anything else on the Lens Baby website and get 10% off on your first order. Um, so a little bit of a discount for you. Uh, they have other discounts running as well. Um, they have this uh, Cyber Monday, Black Friday uh, discount code that you can use. And I believe if I remember correctly, you can stack discount codes. Uh, so you could use this one to get 20% off and then use the one I'll have in the description to get another Ten, or you get 10% off for this one and then 10% off for the one I'll give you, which will give you 20% off altogether on top of the already 20% off that this lens is currently. So you could actually get the lens for 40% off, I believe, um, which is, you know, that's a great savings. And you can also buy them on Amazon. Um, but if you uh, sign up for a free account on lensbaby.com and you buy them through Lensbaby, uh, you earn points 
for every dollar that you spend on Lens Baby Gear on their website. So I'd recommend get it get it directly on their website. I bought mine from their website directly, and they ship really quickly. You get free shipping, and they'll usually arrive in two to three days. I don't know if it'll be a little bit slower being we're getting into the holiday season. It doesn't have any notice up here about it um, taking longer to ship right now. So it's probably still a little bit early enough in December that you can get them, um, get anything the order deliver fairly quickly. Now, the Soul 45 is currently on back order. I just noticed that. So you may have to go to Amazon to get it if you want to get it. I've reached out to Lens Baby. I'm waiting to hear back from them um, because I believe when you set up your profile, you can add all of your social media accounts. You can link them to your Lens Baby account, and you can also link your Amazon account to your Lens Baby account. And I'm not sure, but I think that if you do that, I think that will allow you to still get the reward points on lensbaby.com for any of their products that you bought on Amazon. But I do have an email out to them about that just to confirm that. And when I know for certain, when I get the response from them, I'll update the description in this video so that you know for sure. Okay, so that's going to wrap up my review of the Lensbaby Soul 45 uh, Creative Lens. And I really love this lens. Like I said, I've got a couple of their lenses already. I've got this one. I've got the original Lens Baby 2.0 in the EF mount. Now, that one, you can actually um, insert different discs in the front of it that attach magnetically to change the aperture on that one. So that one will actually go from F2 to F8 um, with various metal discs that actually snap right inside the front of the lens. There's magnets on the inside of it, and you just pop those uh, aperture discs in there and they have different size holes in the center for the different um, uh, aperture values you know like I said from f2 to f8 but these are really creative lenses they're really fun and some of them aren't really expensive at all I mean for $159 and like I said I'm going to give you a discount code in the description for this video that'll give you 10% off you can still use the 10% off on lensbaby.com's website uh, for their Black Friday Cyber Monday deals and as far as I know, you can stack the discount codes. I didn't try it myself because I'm not currently placing an order, um, but I've been told by others that have ordered directly from Lens Baby that you can stack it. So they're currently offering 20% off on a lot of their lenses. And then if you use the Black Friday code that's at the top of the page in the banner that I showed you, as well as the one in the link for my uh, in the description for this video, you can actually get 40% off on everything on their website which is pretty cool and it'd make a great christmas present for the photographer in your life whether it's you or someone else in your family a husband wife son daughter uh, niece nephew uncle whatever they're just really creative and really fun lenses and i highly recommend for the little bit of money that they cost go ahead and grab one of these like the lens uh the soul 45 or the soul 22 and try them out for yourself all right, that's going to wrap up this video. I want to thank everybody for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like this video, hit the little bell icon so you can be notified when the next video drops, and I will see you next time.